And while we're talking about the weekend, this weekend the BBC is staging a series of astronomy events across the Midlands ahead of the return of Stargazing Live on Monday. Our science correspondent David Gregory is in the centre of Birmingham tonight, which will be the focus of one event. So, David, what's going to be happening then? Well, as you might expect, Suzanne, here in Birmingham, the event is going to involve the BBC Big Screen. More on that in a moment. And also we'll be telling you how you can find out about events that are taking place near you, wherever you live in the Midlands. But first, an interest in astronomy doesn't always mean you end up taking out a telescope at night as part of your hobby. Sometimes it can lead to an interest in other things to do with space, such as rockets. In a freezing field near Coventry, countdown has begun. I've got uh, kids of uh, 11 and 12. Uh, in, my, uh, in my high school and, and they're taking up rocketry now. You could say rocketry is exploding as a hobby, but I don't want to jinx our plans for liftoff. We set up um, in about 2000, 2001 um, as um, a group of like-minded individuals um, who had an interest in space, astronomy, rocketry, uh, engineering, and uh, we basically build and fly uh, model rockets, uh, high power rockets, um, for fun. Now you might be wondering what sort of fuel these rockets use. Well the one we're launching today uses what NASA uses. Oh, The, uh, the fuel is uh, commercially produced, uh, mainly in America, um, and it's, uh, it's basically the, exactly the same um, constituents, uh, constituency as the, uh, the, the fuel that goes in the solid rocket boosters on the space shuttle. So this is proper solid rocket fuel as you get in real rockets? As you get in real rockets, yeah. The, these are real rockets, they're just smaller scale versions of the, of the real thing. OK. But like any launch, there's always a worry it might not go to plan. OK, heads up guys, we're launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. But this time it goes without a hitch. But of course, what goes up must come down. And then the question is, how do you track down your rocket? Because it can land at several miles away. Well, these guys have a high-tech solution to all that. You just text the rocket and the onboard GPS texts you back and tells you where to go and find it. And it's not only GPS on board, they even have cameras to give you a rocket's eye view. Well, with me are some proper astrophysicists, real space scientists, Chiara and Catherine uh, from the University of Birmingham. Now, uh, tomorrow you're going to be helping with the event here in Birmingham, Chiara. What's going to happen with the big screen? So at 11 o'clock, we're going to be starting off with some short films about looking for life on other planets. And then at 1 o'clock is a really exciting event. We're going to have a live feed from Hawaii from the Fox telescope that UK schools can apply for time on. And it's going to show the night sky over there. That sounds fantastic. Uh, Catherine, what else is going on? Well, it doesn't matter how old you are or how much you know about astrophysics. The events we've got on tomorrow are really fun. You can build your own rocket and see it launched into the sky. We've got some science-based games like Black Hole Pong, and also you can learn about some of the research that we do at the university as well. And I understand there's going to be a telescope surgery? There will be a telescope surgery. So you can bring your telescope and there'll be some experts there that will show you how to use it maybe a little bit better or give you advice on how to fix it. And there's also going to be a telescope that has filters in it that you can use to look at the sun directly without hurting your eyes. Thank you very much, both of you. That's great. So come down here in Birmingham. But if you can't make, if you can make it to Birmingham, we're going to have details for you uh, to, so you can find out how you can find out about events that are close to you. There are over 300 events taking place across all over the country. And of course, we'll have more for Stargazing Live on Monday's programme.